recipe that has to do with red currant jelly and smoked sausage. I am going to show you my recipe and go through what I do and kind of show you. So here's the start of it. I have chopped up my smoked sausage, put it in a pan, and that is the red currant jelly. There's also quite a bit of water in here. Um, what this is going to do is kind of make a glaze. So um, I haven't turned this on yet, but I'm going to show you my potatoes that I go with it. Okay, let me turn the light on. Okay, and also usually when we make this, I'll make roasted potatoes. This is just regular russet potatoes. Sometimes I'll take red new potatoes and do this recipe with. Um, or the little gold ones, the little tiny ones. Um, if I use the red potatoes or the little gold petite potatoes, um, I don't normally take the skins off. The russet potatoes, the larger russet potatoes, I do normally do take the skin off, but you don't have to. Just scrub them, dice them up. Um, olive oil can coat the potatoes. Um, in the bottom of my pan, if you see the white, that is parchment paper, one of my favorite things to use when I bake. Nothing burns against the pan, makes it easier to clean up. So, um, I bake these in the oven on 425, and after about 20 minutes I flip them, they start browning up a little bit. Um, they're in for a total of about 30 minutes, and I'm going to start the smoked sausage. Okay, um, there's a little bit of pepper in here, not much, just a couple twists um, of fresh pepper. And then we're just going to turn this on, kind of almost a boil, but not quite. And I'll show you what everything looks like when it's done. This gives it a sweet flavor, although if you taste the red currant jelly, it's not very sweet. But mixed with the smoked sausage, it makes for a very, really pretty, nice glaze. It's one of our favorites. Okay, so the water is starting to boil out, and it's almost done. Okay, it's boiled a few more minutes. It's almost done. Caramelizing on the pan. That's what it looks like when the glaze is on the meat. And so I'll show you the jar again and I'll give you the recipe. That's what the glaze looked like as the water cooked out. And this is the jelly I used. And not quite half a jar. So regular smoked sausage cut up, I used the skinless and just put it in water and add some of this. And then I do a rolling boil until it starts to kind of work its way down and then turn it on to low heat. Let the jelly kind of caramelize and it tastes really good. And then I just use potatoes. I garlic, salt, or powder them, uh, fresh pepper and I throw them in the oven for 25, do about 20 minutes, flip them over, do about another 20 minutes, and I do roasted potatoes that way, and then tonight I did add crescent rolls. So that is the dinner that I made with this. Try it out and let me know how you like it. My family's always loved it, so it's hard to find the red currant jelly. Usually I find it at Meyer. Have a great one.